Hello Chiefs and welcome back to the Blueprint YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at this brand new attack which has been completely crushing bases. The best thing about this attack is just how effective it is and how simple it is to use. It's basically mass dragons but I'll be showing you quite a few variations of it today just so you can adapt it to different bases. The best thing about this attack is how quick it is especially in this meta we're seeing a lot of high scoring wars and the tiebreaker is most of the time time so being able to perform and execute a quick attack like this is such a big factor in being able to win the wars now so basically what it is is mass dragons with heroes to flank the heroes keep the dragons in the core and then the dragons take out the core of the base as you can see for the spells he only has rages and freezes so you keep raging the dragons through the base and you freeze defensive like the eagle scatters infernos and this is to keep your dragons at a somewhat good hp and the dragons just go through the base there's nothing to really stop them because you're pretty much freezing everything that would kill them and then the heroes are taking out a lot of key defenses especially the rc the rc is very important because she comes in and takes out a good amount of defenses and it just gets through the base and look how quick that was it's amazing to see but and this can apply to so many bases because that was actually a pretty wide base but you saw how the dragon got through it and now uh, we have a different variation here where he's actually bringing a clone spell which is interesting he's got 18 loons and he's gonna clone the loons so it's kind of like a, a loon dragon here and the loons essentially tank for the dragons and the dragons just go through the base maybe you could call it air hybrid because it's similar to how a grind hybrid works so once again he's coming in with his heroes to flank for his dragons and then the dragons between them to take out the core of the base the heroes are very important to this hit because they create the pathing the dragons need and then the dragons go through the rest of the base on this one you see he's actually going with a blimp because he's not going into town hall the blimp is very important because you definitely want to secure the two star he's actually cloned the loons so now he's got so many loons in the core and he's managed to hit his warden ability on most of the loons and that's very impressive so those loons go in front and get a lot of the traps his blimp actually gets stuck in a tornado but if he see it still managed to get through because he timed the warden ability perfectly I think he took uh, yeti and super gobs in the blimp and that's really good because the yeti might actually damage one of the scatters which is really helpful for the drags and just look how many drags he still has left and he's still got his RC working in this base is completely crushed so this is a, a different variation of it but a similar concept where you use the heroes to flank and then the dragons take out the core and I really think this could work at a lot of the town halls because if you can gut the core of a base there's nothing left to kill the dragons which is really cool to watch so we've got the same player coming again and he's actually in a different base I believe this was from a Zoloko tournament and this guy managed to make it through to the final just using this attack alone so you can see from that it works on a variety of bases this is interesting to see though that he's using a war wrecker I'm not too sure the thought behind that maybe it's because the town hall is in the core so he knew the dragons would park to it eventually so he wanted to get a deeper push with his heroes to make sure that funnel is set because without a funnel the dragons just split everywhere and when they split that's when they become weak so you want your dragons to lay as close together as possible and get a really good warden ability because they can get so much through the warden ability especially if you rage them and once again we can see how quick the attack is because look at the time and he's already got through pretty much all the key defenses on the base there's nothing really left for him to go through it's really impressive to see how this attack works because you think the dragons would just die because there's so much dps but with the rages and freezes and then the loons tanking especially with the clone spell as we saw in this attack 
there's nothing to kill the dragons so they just get through the base kill the whole base and then there's nothing left in every hit we've seen there's been a hand more than a handful of dragons left so that's how you can tell it's an overkill attack there's that many dragons left another variation we're going to see of it is zap dragons zap dragons was actually pretty popular at tunnel 13 we haven't seen it as much at tunnel 14 but hopefully we can see it more so it's a bit different to the attacks we've seen because on the attacks we've seen you use the heroes to flank on each side to create a funnel for your drags but on this one he's actually doing the hero sui and he's going for the town hall this is to get a lot of value and then it sets up a somewhat of a funnel for the drags it's pretty impressive now with the pets that you can kind of do a mini queen walk without any healers because the unicorn actually heals the queen so that's pretty nice to see so he's coming in with both his king and his queen for the town hall I'm assuming he's going to use his RC on that cannon to form an even greater funnel for his drags so it'll be interesting to see so with this pets the sueys are so impressive because look how far they can get with barely any tanking and yeah there goes his RC this is going to help push his heroes even further into the base and he gets so much value so you might think where's the funnel for the dregs but the heroes have taken out and the zaps have taken out the core of the base so all that's left is like a channel for the dregs to go through which is pretty impressive and that's there's nothing really to kill the dregs there's heroes and there's air defenses well when you got rages and the warden ability you can just get through it and this queen is actually being through for the eagle so it's really impressive to see that He's actually still got a Siege Machine as well, and Siege Machine is actually pretty OP. If you can use a Slammer to either tank some defenses or even funnel. So he's using it to funnel a bit to keep his dragons in that channel. But he's also using it to get the defenses and tank the air defense. So he's using it for multi-purpose. He actually had a heal, which was nice to see, because there's three multis. So that is a different variation you can see. Instead of taking freezes, you can heal. It just depends on the base and how narrow your path is. If you've got a narrow path, it's probably better to use a heal because you can hit more of your drugs. But if it's a bit wider base, it's better to use freezes. That way you can freeze multiple defenses at once. So it's up to you to break down the base and be able to choose which variation to use. But once again, the base is crushed. He has so many dragons. Hopefully you guys are able to use this attack and crush some bases with it as well. Thank you for watching and learning this attack and hopefully we can see you in the next video. I hope you guys liked the video and learnt something from it because I certainly did. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and like.